Welcome to the Heal, Nourish, Grow podcast. I'm Cheryl McColgan, founder of Heal, Nourish, Grow. The website, this show, and our newsletter all focus on making the science of advanced nutrition and greater overall health accessible to everyone. Buckle up for our latest episode to get ideas, tools, and practical knowledge you can use to improve your health and move towards your perfect version of ultimate wellness. The Heal, Nourish, Grow podcast shares interviews with nutrition experts, health researchers, and everyday people that have changed their lifestyle and nutrition to support greater health. You'll learn how to implement lasting change and create new habits that support greater wellness and a happier, healthier life please visit HealNourishGrowPodcast.com for full show notes and links to our guests. Greg the Hydrogen Man, or H-Man, is a serious hydrogen therapy evangelist and does not work for molecular hydrogen technologies or holy hydrogen. The study of molecular hydrogen therapy has been his passion for over 10 years. He is well-versed in the extensive health benefits molecular hydrogen provides. His knowledge comes not only from his extensive study, but from firsthand experience in his own healing. Greg has been featured in several podcasts, including Hope and Health with Dr. Mark and Michelle Sherwood, the Certified Health Nut with Troy Casey, The Right Side with Doug Billings, and others. Additionally, Greg has hundreds of thousands of views on his YouTube channel where you can learn even more about the benefits of hydrogen. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Heal, Nourish, Grow podcast. Today, I'm with Greg H-Man, Hydrogen Man, and I am really excited to share his story with you. He has, you know, had some health problems in the past, like many of our guests, and has kind of come up with a solution or a thing that has helped him a lot. And without giving too much away, I've already read your bio, Greg, but if you could just give people kind of in your own words, your background, how you sort of got to this stage with working with your uh, company that you work with now, um, just all the color behind how you got to be the hydrogen man. <laughs> kind of a sad story, really. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. Let me, let me get more calm here, <laughs> but you seem to yeah. be in a good place now. So. <laughs> oh, I'm, yeah, I'm doing a lot better. I mean, basically I was extremely sick. I mean, I had issues like inflammation all over my body. I had a lot of massive back pain nerve pain, my wrists, just the inflammation seemed to be everywhere, almost like an autoimmune disease, which I think I had something autoimmune related because also my immune system was absolutely terrible. I'd constantly get sick from the flu or something like that really easily. Mm -hmm. It would take forever to recover. Um, But the worst part about it was just the pain because I couldn't walk. You know, I was in so much pain. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even roll over in my bed. You know, I was in so much pain. I needed, I needed care, you know, hundred percent of the time. And I also had a heart condition to to top it all off. (laughs) I had a heart condition that uh, I was told by the cardiologist was probably not, I probably wouldn't have maybe another 10 years, maybe 12 years of life because um, the condition was exhausting my heart. And then, you know, then the heart would give out. And um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much the gist of what I had going on. So it wasn't, it wasn't very fun, specifically the part not being able to walk and being in a lot of pain. It, it kind of drove me crazy and it did drive me to wanting to take my life because it was just too much. Anybody who's ever been in pain and, and pain medications didn't help. I mean, I would have probably been taken, not probably, I would have been taking medicine even if I knew it was destroying my liver or going to probably kill me or cause addiction. I would have been very upset doing it, but I would have done it because I was in that level of pain. And normally I don't like such things, but it was it was at that level where I was like, I don't care anymore. Just give me something, please, to make the pain stop. Yeah, I can only imagine because that kind of chronic pain day after day and not being able to walk. I mean, I can see where you got to a place where you were just desperate, I'm sure, and, and just ready to try almost anything. And I'm kind of assuming, you know, that that is how you maybe found hydrogen. But before we before we get to hydrogen, what sort of things were you trying? What were you doing to try to mitigate this pain? And how did you get on this road to researching this sort of more of a sort of what some people might consider like a more natural or a more unusual approach to pain management? Yeah, I would say that I just, you know, I did, I actually did work in the medical field for like 20 years. So I worked with Mm -hmm. lots of specialists, lots of doctors. I knew a lot of different people in the field and I knew what went on behind the scenes. That's the thing I knew. I knew what they were capable of and I knew what they were not capable of. And then once I had the issue, I ended up in the system and I was like, oh no, I know this system and I hate it. (laughs) (laughs) I knew too much at that point. 
and uh, and I still went through it, and it was um, terrible. They didn't really have many solutions. And then I thought, you know what? I I think for me personally, I put my faith in the fact that I do believe that creation, I mean, not to go too spiritual with it, but I just believe that creation is a, such a masterpiece. I believe this body is is capable of so much. And I just had to untap and figure out how to figure out how it works and what could, what I could do to heal this particular, my body. And I also, I mean, I did pray. I was so desperate, you know, I was doing anything and I was praying to saying, hey, please lead me to find the answer. And I just knew that, it, I just felt instinctively that if I could just find the answer to my, my issue, that that same thing would probably help many people out there. And lo and behold, it did. I mean, that's, it, it worked, it did. That's been what's shocking about this whole thing. Yeah. And so how, how did you find that when you began researching? Did you come across a particular piece of information that led you in that direction? Or, or what things did you try first before you found what actually worked for you? <laughs> if I were to tell probably you, a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably be on here for a few hours because it's a very long list. I, I dedicated myself to actually trying everything. That's what I told myself. I said, I'm going to try everything. I spent a lot of money <laughs> trying everything. <laughs> A small fortune, you know, and I was with the hopes that I would find the answer and then I could share with other people too. And that's what I did. And <clears throat> trying a lot of things, I realized there's so much contradictory information out there. You know, people telling you to eat the only meat diet. No, only only eat fruit. No, only eat raw foods. No, only do this. <laughs> no, spring water is the best. No, distilled water is the best. And everybody's kind of arguing and, and it's very contradictory and it's very frustrating. And at some point, I'm a pretty independent thinker. I've always been an independent thinker. And I just kind of said, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to have to think for myself on this, on what makes sense. And based on scientific data, and I would weigh it against other data, even down to ancient scriptures that I was reading, down to the way that the human body functions, down to just basic things like even water. A lot of people will say distilled water is not good for you. I've been saying it's the best water for quite some time because it's the cleanest. So mm -hmm. I was so confused about water. I just said, you know what? I just want clean water. How about that? You know, and, yeah. and it was the cleanest water. So I went with that. And the same thing started when I started learning about things like hydrogen, even ozone. I mean, I know about ozone too, but hydrogen is really the, the magical piece. Um, they all have different uses, um, but hydrogen is something just so powerful and it has to be done cleanly, obviously, you know, not using chemicals like lye and and I don't like the Chinese stuff because they use really low grade metals that will leach. And so it took a lot of research to figure out. I mean, all that led me eventually to a Japanese company. Of course, I found out later that they were like the number one company when it came to hydrogen, understanding it. They had the best technology. They even had their own labs. I mean, they, they, they were the only guys who actually answered the questions that I had. I was calling all these companies and they were all giving different answers. And it was very clear to me when I spoke to these guys that they knew what the heck they were talking about. And then all this kind of, you know, led to, um, I mean, I read scientific data on hydrogen, a lot of it for actually years. I actually thought that it was a scam at first because um, it was just too good to be true. I was like, there's no way this stuff is that good. And I think I read it for almost four years. And then I was like, you know what, uh, maybe I need to try this stuff. But the question is, where do you go and buy hydrogen? You know, and then that became a problem. I had to learn how to make it. <laughs> If you've been around my content for a while, you know that one of my favorite things is making and eating gourmet food and pairing it with wine. You might think you can't enjoy wine though while trying to lose weight or stay in ketosis. And if you're drinking traditional wine, you might be right. So many wines are mass produced and full of sugar and other garbage additives that can wreak havoc on your health goals and just make you feel bad. Fortunately, I discovered Dry Farm Wines. I've been drinking their wine for years now and I love this company. They individually test small batch wines produced by vintners that are committed to the practice of dry farm production. Some of my favorites have been the Blaufrankisch variety from Austria and all all of the wines from the Loire Valley in France. Dry farm wines are free from excess sulfites and mold that can cause adverse reactions and hangovers. With no added sugar, each wine is tested to be under one gram of sugar in the entire bottle. Yep, you just heard that right. There's less than one carb in the whole bottle of wine. They're also slightly lower alcohol, which means you can enjoy a delicious wine pairing at dinner any given night and not end up with a hangover. You can receive an extra bottle for just a penny with your first order by visiting dry dryfarmwines.com slash heal nourish grow. 
I'd love to hear what your favorite wine is after you try it and be sure to tag me on social with pictures of your wine and delicious dinners. Again, that bottle of wine for a penny is at dryfarmwines.com slash heal, nourish, grow. Yeah. So I guess, well, before we get into how you got to that point, let's just start for people with like a basic education on hydrogen, because if everybody can remember back to high school science, they'll probably remember hydrogen's an element and it may seem like, okay, how are we supposed to take, you know, if you think of other elements like uranium or plutonium or whatever, how are we supposed to take this element, somehow get it, somehow ingest it, And how is that going to help me? So maybe you can give a little basic science for people here about how you started to think about that. Yeah, well, first of all, we are talking about molecular hydrogen. So it's a specific type of hydrogen. And ironically, it is made in nature. If you've ever heard of a place called Lourdes, France, Mm -hmm. uh, the healing waters of Lourdes, people literally drinking the water from there and healing all sorts of medical conditions. And everybody just thought it was probably like a placebo. Nobody gave it much credit. But it went on for so long, then they started having documented cases. I mean, literally being able to document, like if somebody had a heart condition like me, and then seeing that the heart condition is clearly gone, it's like, wait a second, there's something real tangible here with this water. Lots of scientists studied that water. Nobody could figure out what made it so unique. Everybody just said, it's water. It's H2O. You know, what's the big deal? And it was the Japanese who just persevered and found out that there was actually hydrogen in that water. Because hydrogen is extremely hard to detect. It's a gas. It's extremely tiny. It dissipates so quickly. So if you were to take that water and take it to a lab, the gas would be gone by the time you got to the lab. So mm-hmm. it was really tricky. And when they discovered that, then they started doing tests on animals by making the hydrogen in labs and mimicking the water Um, and the gas inhalation. And that's how it all kind of started. They started seeing what it was doing to animals and just blown away like, whoa, wait a second. Why is this doing this? And and so it became a whole process. But there is a difference between the hydrogen water and the hydrogen gas inhalation. The science is super clear on how they affect the body differently. And I had to learn all about that too. And so, yeah, and then I even developed my own protocols. Turned out my protocols were lab tested and and my protocols worked better than any that any scientist or doctor had ever created. So my stuff was the best, which was kind of funny because I wasn't even technically a specialist. I mean, they don't teach you about hydrogen in medical school anyway, um, (laughs) you know, as far as any of the medical stuff because it's too new. But um, it's been a long and interesting road. And I don't know, I just feel like I developed a relationship with hydrogen and understanding it. and, um, And I love it, actually. And so, so once you found that, and so you started thinking about this special water and then you found that you came in contact with the Japanese company and you had already said that it was your passion. Like once you figured something out, you were going to share it with people. So you talked to this Japanese company and I'm assuming at some point you started testing this on yourself. Uh, can you kind of talk oh, about yeah. that process a little bit and how, what things you started to notice, how different you felt your disease process, how'd that all go? Wow. Well, I mean, I didn't just change, I, I changed I, I, want, I started making the clean water, started infusing it with hydrogen. Um, I wasn't doing the gas inhalation at first, um, but I also did this on my dad too. Uh, he was having issues with high blood or issues with um, arthritis, and then you know some blood pressure, some cholesterol, diabetes, and glaucoma, and then all the things that I had. And I was also fine tuning the diet. I was fine tuning all these other things. But the biggest things that you notice is a reduction in inflammation, which is something that hydrogen has been shown to do. It started changing even my skin. My Your skin just feels more hydrated, just better. You definitely have more energy. You start feeling a little more clearer, um, just a little cleaner. You just start feeling a little younger. It actually has anti-aging <laughs> properties to it. So, I mean, it does do have that effect. And, I mean, I feel better now than I did, you know, 10 years ago. And, um And that's, you know, I used to be quite athletic and um, it was so heartbreaking for me not to be able to walk and just so much has changed. You know, I've even found ways to enhance it, you know, that I haven't even released to the world yet. Actually, I haven't said anything about it, but just the hydrogen on itself, the things I've seen it do, I mean, things that doctors deem impossible. And I've had doctors contact me back and say, hey, I saw these results with my patient. I'd like to know what you're doing. Because uh, we're talking reversing kidney disease, which they say is impossible. Macular degeneration, they say, is impossible. Glaucoma, they say, you know, getting rid of it is impossible. I mean, I've seen all sorts of stuff like that. So it's, you know, cirrhosis of the liver, fatty liver disease. I mean, all sorts of things. I mean, just it goes on and on. Um, Autoimmune issues, um, you know, lots of IBS issues. Um, Obviously, the arthritis. I mean, I had so much joint pain. I literally couldn't pick up 
a remote control and change the channel oh. on the TV. That's how much pain I was in. And I would get injured so easily. Like I could literally get injured picking up a glass of water and injure my wrist and it would hurt for months. And it was just crazy. I was, I was a mess. <laughs> I was an absolute <laughs> mess. It was a low point. So, so you said you actually changed several things. You mentioned diet, you were trying some other things, but now when you're um, kind of doing this process with doctors and everything, I assume that they're not having people change a bunch of other things too, or are they? Are they just purely starting getting into hydrogen? Um, well, the funny thing is that then my dad was a good example because he didn't want to change anything. He's like, I ain't going to change the whole meeting. I don't want to change anything. He said, the only thing I'm willing to do is the clean water with the hydrogen. Mm -hmm. And all those issues went away anyway. Everyone, if you can please give us some grace on the recording. We had a little technical difficulty. I'm going to edit this together as best as I can, but Greg and I are back. And I think where we left, we were talking about your dad, Greg, how he kind of didn't want to make any changes. So your thoughts around that, and he went ahead and started with the hydrogen water. Like what you hear so far? Make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button now. We'd also love it if you could post a review on iTunes. It helps us so much by allowing others to more easily find us. The Heal, Nourish, Grow podcast wouldn't be possible without listeners like you. Thank you so much for your support. Now back to the show. Yeah, I I didn't know if hydrogen would work if you didn't pair it with a real healthy lifestyle. Sometimes you have to just do everything you can possibly do to improve your health. But then mm -hmm. I thought, well, this would actually be a kind of a neat experiment is don't change anything and just do clean water and clean hydrogen and see ultimately what it can do. And ultimately ended up working anyway. But I always like to tell people, I personally think, and I, and I think I forgot to say this at the beginning, you know, I'm not giving any medical advice. I'm not making any medical claims. I think I might have forgot. Yes. That. And that, that is always on my disclaimer as well. Oh. So you're covered both ways. <laughs> There. But it really showed me, I think that if you make other changes in your lifestyle, you will probably get faster results, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, because I remember him complaining about, like, for example, his arthritis. He had, he'd stopped the medication, which is very harmful for the liver. I actually recently know of somebody who recently died from using that medication for too long mm -hmm. uh, because it just destroys your liver, like uh, a, a medicine called meloxicam. Mm -hmm. And it works great at first, right? And you feel great, but it ends up destroying your body like a lot of other pharmaceuticals. And anyway, so he was complaining a lot of pain because he stopped the medication. And then it took about two, three months before he said, oh, okay, the edge is coming off. It still hurts, but it's getting better. And then, you know, around six, eight months, you know, arthritis was not there any longer. And he was feeling a whole lot better. Even more recently, he had his heart checked too. Uh, just like myself, that I, I had my heart condition. He didn't have a heart condition, but they were checking him out. And they found that his arteries were like squeaky clean for a guy who's almost 80 years old. And they couldn't believe it. They said, everybody has buildup. How is this possible? And that's been one of my theories about the way hydrogen also works is when it's when your blood is going through these different areas of the body, hydrogen seems to chip away just slowly so that it's in a safe manner, just constantly cleaning stuff up. And that's something that I also find quite remarkable, but there's, it's almost hard to say like, what doesn't it do? Cause it does so many things. It's the, it, for me, it's one of the biggest no brainers um, for good health. Clean water, in my opinion, is a no brainer and clean hydrogen is a no brainer and having all your nutrients as far as not being deficient and things to me is another no brainer. So there's some pretty basics that if you do them, the body is uh, quite capable of, of, you know, staying healthy. Yeah, no, that is pretty amazing. And it's it's interesting that you said that because a guest that I was recording with just before you was a physical therapist, and he had a very similar uh, thing about chronic pain. He is like, you know, if you can get out of your body's way, we have an amazing ability to, to heal. And But there are certain, I think, conditions or supplements or elements that when you add those to the mix, it sort of uh, is a synergistic effect with your body's ability to heal. And it sounds like that's what you really discovered with hydrogen. Absolutely. In fact, um, one, thing, one thing that in my opinion is foundational to health, and there's already science to back up what I'm saying is, one is just hydration. Mm -hmm. If you're not properly hydrated, things don't work properly. And that includes even medications. A lot of times they just don't work as good unless you're properly hydrated. That even goes with oxygen therapy, by the way. And this goes for a lot of different therapies and hydrogen hydrates you better than anything. That's why I think it's just such a foundational piece to health. And then of course it does so much more than just hydrate. 
So it, it, whether you're taking supplements, you know, whether you're exercising, whether you're trying to eat healthy, like all these different things, hydrogen enhances all these things. That's what I've seen, whether absorption of nutrients. I mean, one of the beautiful things that hydrogen does um, that was discovered by the number one university in the world that researches hydrogen is that it opens up something called ghost veins. Uh, and and Never that's heard like of that. a weird medical term, actually. But basically, as you get older, have you ever noticed that a baby is very plump, very hydrated <laughs> and warm because, you know, you have proper blood circulation. And what happens is in time, the blood in certain areas will retract and you'll literally have like veins that have no blood in them, They're like a ghost town. And they call them ghost veins. And you can look mm -hmm. that up. And ultimately, hydrogen has been shown to open those up again and start getting blood in there again. And that's crucial because blood supply to areas you know that, that no longer have it is and, and also blood circulation people go and go to my youtube channel it's free it's called uprising 144k and i have video footage of like for example a live blood analysis where they drink they had a woman drinking water and not drinking water they showed her live blood and then she did hydrogen water specifically from the equipment that i use which is why i like that the test was done on that equipment Mm -hmm. And what you will witness if you go and check it out is my, so mind blowing that I've had doctors contact me and, and think it's a scam. They said, that's just not possible. They said, that's just, sorry, but that's not possible. And one of the doctors went as far as buying their own machine, going to one of their own labs, performing the exact same study only to find that the results were identical and they just couldn't believe it. And they became a huge proponent of hydrogen. Wow. Yeah, so we've kind of alluded to it at this point, but, you know, it's not like we can just go to Kroger and buy some hydrogen and put it in our water. So <laughs> can you share with people, you did find this device and you've you've been using it. Can you just share with people like kind of what the device does, why you chose that when uh, if people are going to go down this road, they've got some significant health issues and they want to give hydrogen a try, what should they be looking for and sort of what would you recommend? Again, not vet medical advice, but what have you found that works for you um, in terms of consumption and how often and all that good stuff? Yeah, I think the biggest thing, the sad part is like, I also recommend clean water and you can get clean water in many different ways. I do recommend what's called carbon distillers. I mean, the one I recommend is from mypurewater.com. You know, discount code is uprising 144K, but there's a lot of distillers that can clean water. But when it comes to hydrogen, what I have found is that there is the majority of the machines out there are terrible and, and it's weird, you know, from devices that use lye to make hydrogen, which is just really foolish. It's a chemical. It's, it's not going to be pure. Mm -hmm. um, the majority of devices are made in China, Korea, Taiwan. And I found out that all those devices are pretty much using Chinese parts, low grade metals. Mm -hmm. And so it took me a long time and it led me to the number one company in the world that has best hydrogen technology. And they happen to be Japanese. And that's the one that I started using and learning about their technology. And they went above and beyond anybody I've ever seen. Their devices are actually lab tested and certified, which nobody in the industry does. It's too expensive, but these guys are kind of like me. They're a little obsessed about hydrogen and I love that. <laughs> because they want to make the best. They don't, they're not counting the pennies. They, they just want to make the best. And uh, yeah, it costs more, but, um, but you know, so that's what I personally recommend. They're holyhydrogen.com. Those are Japanese devices that are actually used medically in Japan. Here, you can get them without being a medical, without having a medical license or anything. So they're accessible and they're cheap. You know, this type of hydrogen would have been seriously like $100,000. You know, you would have needed that level of money to make this quality of hydrogen. And you can now make both the water and the gas inhalation at an extremely high level, therapeutic grade for less than 2,500 bucks. And the machines last so many years, they're incredibly reliable, which is not normal in the hydrogen world. Machines tend to break quite often in the world of hydrogen. And so they're just they're just way better than everybody. And when I found that, I went with that, even though, you know, a lot of people sometimes tell me like, oh, you're just doing this for the money. And it's like, you know what? I was doing it for the money. I honestly, I would have gone with a Chinese device because they're so cheap. <laughs> right. and, the, and the markup is so much. You know, I don't actually make that much being an affiliate with them, but it's the best. And I only recommend what I personally use because I know that that's what's going to help people. And then I can live with myself <laughs> and, uh, and, and not feel like a charlatan, you know, um, promoting garbage stuff. You know what I mean? You know how I like to talk about being just 1% better every day? Well, ButcherBox believes in better. For them, better means caring about animals and the planet, treating the planet with respect, 
and it means improving the lives of animals and the livelihoods of farmers. Their beef is grass-fed and grass-finished, chicken is free-range and organic, turkey is free-range, pork is humanely raised, and salmon and scallops are wild-caught. I've been using ButcherBox for a couple of years now, and it was a godsend having such high-quality meat delivered to my door during the pandemic. If you're interested in saving money and eating healthier, this is the perfect service for you. Even if you can get back to the grocery store now, the quality and health of ButcherBox meat is far superior to what's in the market. Plus, if you're a bacon lover, I have really good news. You can always get a great deal on your subscription by using my link, but starting June 12th until October 14th, new members can get free bacon for life. That's right. Every box will include a pack of uncured, unbelievably delicious bacon added to every box for the life of your membership. Check my show notes for the link or go to bit.ly, that's B-I-T dot L-Y slash H-N-G butcher box. Absolutely. No, I feel the same way. And it's funny how often, you know, I get contacted by companies that, you know, have an affiliate program or whatever and want me to, I'm like, I've never tried it. <laughs> first of all, I'd have to try it first. And then I only do it if it's something that I believe in and would actually spend my own money on. So I definitely appreciate that. And I'm sure the listeners will as well. And I, I read in your bio that you don't work for either one of them. You just, you experience this health transformation yourself, wanted to share it with people, did all the research to find the best thing. And so now you're just really kind of paying that forward in the hopes that you help other people get healthier. Yeah. I mean, for me, this is just my personal opinion. You know, in life, you can do a lot of things for your flesh, meaning you can buy nice things, you can you know go on vacations, whatever. Um, but I believe that you need to feed your spirit too. And I've asked myself that question for a long time. Like, how do I feed my spirit? Because sometimes you can feel it. You can feel something's missing. You can have all the things in the world, but you're like, something's missing. And for me, I discovered that when you do kind things to others, I mean, very scriptural, really. Love your neighbor as yourself, as they say. Mm -hmm. And um, and I just felt a lot of positiveness from that. And it made me feel good in my heart, in my soul. And so I, I did create the YouTube channel. I never charged for it. I've been told to charge for it. I've been told <laughs> to open up my own website. I've been told to do all these things, um, but I never did. I just gave it away for free. And, you know, people can go to YouTube and check it all out. It doesn't cost you a thing. Share it with people. People don't know that there's options out there when you're suffering or have certain medical conditions. And um, people who email me, I call every single person. If they include their phone number, I call them. I chat with them. They ask me questions. Um, you know, they ask me about different hydrogen devices, which is always a waste of time. It, they, they, it's funny how much people think that I don't know. They, they're like, well, do you know this device? And I'm like, yes, I know that device. You know, it's not good. No, it's not good. What about these hydrogen pills? No, they're no good. I've done lab testing. You can see it on my channel. Um, so I, I hate to say I'm not trying to my own horn, but I do kind of know quite a bit. I was almost going to say everything about hydrogen, but maybe nobody knows everything about it. But I'm pretty well informed, more than anybody I know out there. <laughs> other than, yeah. uh, you know, so that's why I'm the hydrogen man, I guess, right? Yeah, right. Well, you might not know everything, but you know more than anybody else knows about it, probably. <laughs> so that's a pretty good place to be. Um, well, Greg, I think we mentioned your YouTube channel, um, a couple of the links that you said. Are there any other final thoughts or things that we have not talked about yet, either in terms of hydrogen or in terms of where people can find you or what's the best way to get in touch if people have questions? I mean, if people want to email me, they can email me at uprising144k at gmail.com. But honestly, if they want to read the science, I always tell them, go to holyhydrogen.com. It's easier for me because they can just go and read the science. They don't need to ask me a million questions. They can go there and see the machine and all the data on it. They contact me for other reasons sometimes. Um, maybe certain medical conditions are like, is this really going to help with this? Because it can help for a lot of things, but it's not going to help with every single thing. I think somebody... I think uh, their their hip was completely deteriorated and they needed a new hip. And they're like, oh, is this going to rebuild my hip? And it's like, no, I'm not going <laughs> to lie to people either. You know? right. I'm not going to say, yeah, it's going to make you, you know, 50 years younger again and your hip will be brand new in a week. You know, it's like, no, I wish it did, but it's not like that. And uh, so people can email and ask questions in regards to that. But it's still regardless of no brainer. Even if somebody was to go through surgery for the hip, you know, you definitely want to be on hydrogen before surgery. But you'd also want to up your levels of vitamin D as far as the, the data on that. So I'm really big on a lot of the science stuff and health in general. Um, but I think health just starts with the basics. And like I said, clean water, clean hydrogen, maybe a good multivitamin. And I mean, that's where it begins. And it's not even that hard to do those things. Pretty easy to start. 
Yeah. No, just drinking something. That definitely is a lot easier than some other things. Uh, it did prompt one final question for you, though, before we go, because something you said made me think of it. If you, again, no, no medical advice, but what are the things in your experience and what you've heard from other people, what sorts of conditions are the most amenable to be helped by this hydrogen therapy? Well, let's see if I can remember all the ones that I've seen, because I've seen people's high blood pressure go away, cholesterol issues go away, arthritis, glaucoma, macular degeneration, autoimmune disease, uh, issues, celiac disease. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see, people with actually inflammation in the mouth, like even gingivitis, and there is data on that. Um, people recently with um, pain, a lot of people just pain issues because of its anti-inflammatory effect. People would definitely need to rebuild their gut. Um, a lot of women who, who either have insomnia, it's actually helped with that because of the way it helps with cortisol levels and basically mm -hmm. stress and the negative effects of stress on the body. And women with hormonal issues, when their hormones are out of balance, it's been quite remarkable what hydrogen has been able to do for things like that also. And, um, and there's a bunch of data in regards to cancer. Um, I have a long list on that, the way that it protects DNA. The biggest thing about hydrogen to me too is how protective it is. And that's why I think it's a big no-brainer these days, because we, we literally have pollutants in water, pollutants in the air, pollutants in our food, high-stress lifestyles, you know, yeah, it's just endless. And if you were to see my video number, I think it's video number eight, if we show in a lab setting cells exposed to, for example, just radiation with and without hydrogen, and it's night and day. It's so protective. It's unbelievable. It's actually hard to believe how protective it is. And I just think it's, it's a really good preventative so that you don't end up having a medical issue, spending an arm and a leg and suffering, you know, so it's like the worst of both worlds, right? You suffer and you get all your money taken from you. <laughs> right. It's the worst. Well, Greg, I just want to thank you so much for sharing all your knowledge and bringing this message to the world. Because like you said, it's not very well known. And I'm really excited to have learned about you and, and your work. And I think you've shared some amazing things today. And if it helps somebody out there, then I, I'm, I know we're both very thankful for that. So anyway, thank you again for uh, being a guest today. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you very much. And it was really, it was really fun talking to you. So I really enjoyed it. Yes. Nice getting to meet you. Thanks. This has been the Heal, Nourish, Grow podcast. Again, I'm Cheryl McColgan, founder of Heal, Nourish, Grow. You can find show notes for this episode at HealNourishGrowPodcast.com. If you have feedback on today's episode or questions about the content, please email us at podcast at HealNourishGrow.com. We'd love to hear from you. Be sure to sign up for our email list at HealNourishGrow.com and subscribe to the show with your favorite podcast player so you never miss an episode. Join us next time for more information that helps you live your best and healthiest life. Thanks for listening. Content on the Heal, Nourish, Grow podcast does not constitute medical advice. Content contained in the Heal, Nourish, Grow podcast is not intended as medical diagnosis or treatment. Neither the company nor its owner, Heal, Nourish, Grow, LLC, nor any of the company's employees, agents, or guest speakers provide medical advice. The content provided on Heal, Nourish, Grow podcast is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Please consult your medical provider with any questions about what health practices are right for you.